words are so powerful, aren't they? And, and people misunderstand what from the river to the sea means. And people hold it on placards. And it's been uh, uh, basically some people say it's about genocidal intent. Um, when you speak to your students about that and that particular phrase, what do you tell them? Well, from the river to the sea uh, designates the whole land of Palestine. And what it's talking about is, you know, a Palestine where all people can be free and where, you know, there is justice, justice is ensured and human rights, uh, the human rights of all are respected. You know, whether this is pointing towards a particular sort of one state solution or whatever, you know, that's something that we can debate about. But it's certainly not about any kind of genocidal intent towards, uh, you know, towards Israelis or Jewish people in general. I mean, that's complete nonsense. That's just another one of these, you know, lies that the Zionists have dreamt up to try to justify, you know, persecution of pro-Palestinian activity. You know, it's, it's simply not the case. And it's, you know, it's just what it's just the most recent example of this happening i'm afraid and so so it is interesting because a lot of people on the marches they they often journalists will often quiz them well which which river which sea and a lot of people don't know where did the suggestion yeah. that there is genocidal intent come from where did that come from i don't know the history of it but it's very clear that it's you know it's from the zionist lobby i mean it's very clear that the you know the zionist lobby has been latching onto this i mean i, I really don't remember this ever being such an issue until last october it was on it was after last october that we saw you know many many demonstrators coming out in the street placards you know placards with this on the uh, with this logo and you know people chanting it that's when the zionist lobby started crying foul and saying oh you know this is genocide against jews and now we feel really uncomfortable and you know you know they're persecuting jews and all this kind of you know all this kind of horse manure that we see so, you know, I mean, I probably, you know, they were talking about it and they're trying to push the envelope uh, before last October, but it's really only after, you know, this whole accelerated genocide started happening that this came to the forefront. At least that's how I see it. Yeah, and I mean, it, it highlights the total dichotomy, the asymmetry of power relations where saying a phrase is apparently worse than killing and starving 200,000 civilians. You know, that's okay. We can kill 200,000 people because, you know, they're terrorists or they might become terrorists or they're the wives and children of terrorists. But those words, all those no. words are terrible, you know. I mean, it's just you know, ludicrous. Yeah. So, so exactly, just to put that into context so people are clear, the river is the Jordan River and the sea is the Mediterranean Sea, and it's talking about the state of Palestine for that. It's not what you're saying. It's talking about genocidal intent, and you're saying it's basically being misused in that way. Is that a fair summary? Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Sorry, just to jump in, but, you know, let's remember that before the establishment of the, uh, the state of Israel, uh, there were Jewish people living in historic Palestine, Christians and Muslims, of course, uh, very amicably, very peacefully, Zionism is a political ideology of Jewish supremacism, which means that the land is for them and only them, and that they have a historic, biblical, uh, and every other right to basically kick everyone else out or make them their serfs. And they're very open about that within Israel. We don't hear that in the Western media at all, of course. All we hear is that this uh, Jewish homeland must be defended at all costs because of historical events this century and in previous centuries and some ancient right to the land that they have. But I mean, the right to the land is no more valid than the Romans turning up in Britain and saying we were here 2000 years ago, we want it back, or the Vikings or any of the other pre-1066 invaders. It's total nonsense. Critically analyzing global affairs. The Muckrakers on today's News Talk, TNT.